I can see your words mean a lot to Douglas. And he's lucky to have such devoted and caring parents. One of whom he will choose to live with. What do you say, Douglas? Have you made your decision? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. Well, today was the big day. Hope and Thomas went before a judge for Douglas to decide who he wants to live with, who he wants to be his guardian going forward. So I have to actually give it up to both Hope and Thomas. They both gave very sweet speeches about why they wanted Douglas to stay with them. And you could definitely see on his little face that both speeches affected him. And I was thinking, this is really a lot for a little kid to have to make this big decision right there in front of both of them when he's worried about not hurting either one. And that may have actually played into the shocking decision that he actually made in the end. Let's get into it. And let's remember, whatever Douglas has chosen is final. You have pledged to be supportive and understanding, and I expect you to honor that. So, the custodian in Douglas's life will be... So the judge makes it clear that whatever Douglas decides is binding and this person will be his guardian until he comes of age. She asks him if he is ready to make a decision and then gives him a notepad to write down who he wants to be with. Douglas takes a few minutes. He looks at Hope and Liam and at Steffi and Thomas and kind of stands there and contemplates what he wants to do. Then he finally writes a name down and hands a notepad back to the judge. Now, last night, Hope was feeling very confident because she asked Douglas where he wanted to stay. And he said he wanted to stay with her. I think Thomas is feeling confident as well. But Douglas throws a curveball at all of them. Who is it? Douglas. What's going on? They were all shook, including Steffi and the judge. And look at Leon's face. They were like, what? No one was expecting him to write Steffi's name down. And I do wonder how that's going to play out, considering their original agreement was supposed to be between Hope or Thomas. Now, I kind of thought something like this was coming when we got this little happy scene last week of Douglas and his cousin Kelly playing and having such a good time that looked like he did not want to leave Finn and Steffi's house to go with Liam. Is it just me or does it seem like Douglas really does not like Liam at all? But the fact that they put this scene in there had me thinking that he was going to ask at some point to stay with Steffi and Finn. And here we are. So, of course, this was our cliffhanger for today. We did not get Steffi's answer, but I really did not see her denying Douglas. So we shall see how that plays out on Monday. And I guess technically if Thomas were to move in with Taylor, who does not live far from them, he would have easy access to Douglas. And Hope and Liam are already co-parenting Kelly with Steffi, so he would still see them as well. You're free, okay? There's no charges against you. This could be it. This could be our time together to have an actual relationship out in the open. And I know I'd be risking a lot. I get it that, that Brooke and Hope wouldn't be thrilled about it, but you know what? They come around once they see how happy I am. I want you, Sheila. Tell me you want me as much as I want you. Now that Deacon can't have Sheila, he has really fallen hard for her. And she keeps making up excuses to see him. Now she stopped by his place because she said she forgot some things. And Deacon knows good and well Hope and Brooke and anybody else would not come around to him dating Sheila. He is being delusional with that. And dare I say I'm actually kind of interested in this storyline because I see where it's going with the triangle. 
because I am curious what Dollar Bill is going to do when he finds out about all these secret meetings between Sheila and Deacon. So they have really written her a whole new storyline, just sweeping all the other stuff that she did under the rug. So drop down below and let me know your thoughts on Douglas and Steffi and Sheila and Deacon. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.